Hello friends, welcome back on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I wish you a belated Happy New Year and I hope that you've all had a great holiday season. I'm looking back on over three months of nagging detecting downtime and I'm happy that my new permission contract has arrived last week. In the meantime, I had an appointment with a new farmer I got to know in autumn of last year. He granted me access to all of his fields, which are quite some. The weather is nice today, but the fields are very muddy and therefore I'm grateful for a hint the farmer gave me. He told me that this was an old footpath people used in the past to get to the next village. Until two years ago, these fields went right down to the bank of this little stream and I hope that the plow brought up some nice things from the past. Well, let's get started. Today I will be using my standard coil because um, I need to use uh, the lower frequencies as uh, these are more capable uh, to handle big iron. Um, I'm expecting a lot of big iron here on this footpath. This is more promising. As expected, a lot of iron on this uh, uh, footpath here. Uh, big iron, but this is uh, the first promising signal. Let's see what it is. It's in the clot. Now it's a tiny, tiny find. But I'm closer. I feel it. And lo and behold, <laughs> it's uh, aluminium foil. Um, also, a find I'm expecting on this footpath. Hey, <laughs> oh, that looks like the first good find on this footpath here. It's a uh, buckle and yeah, I can see a uh, silver shine underneath the muck. It's a pewter buckle, um, maybe a shoe buckle. Um, great, and this is what I'm looking for here on this footpath.
I have to get my pinpointer. up. But uh, this signal, which is deep by the way, <laughs> um, I will dig without it. I always forget it in my backpack. I don't know why. It's a very strident signal. Uh, yeah, and that's why it's a massive hunting cartridge. It's a compulsory custom jewelry ring. I tend to find a lot uh, here in this area. As you can see, the stone is missing. Um, it's a very modest version. Um, copper alloy. Um, yeah, I can't tell you exact how old these are, but um, as mentioned before, I think they have to be from the 1800s, maybe early 1900s. Um, I wish uh, the stone uh, was still in place. Um, yeah, I think it was a cheap but a very nice ring. My next find came from deep down, I tell you, at least uh, 10 inches. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, yes, uh, it's a strange kind of button. As you can see, it got uh, two shanks. It's a quite chunky one. And uh, ah, never seen one of uh, this kind before. Um, if you have seen a button like this before, I would be, um, yeah, happy if you could tell me what it is. Maybe I can find out at home, but um, help is always appreciated. Yeah, this uh, path uh, seems to be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to detecting it properly. Frosty. <laughs> it's out. Huh. <laughs> it's either the first coin, yes, it is. 
it's a coin. It's a two Fennish uh, from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, great find, a bit blistery, but uh, I don't care. It's a historic find. I've made an interesting find here. I got a bit of a shock because it looks very old. Um, as you can see, there are lumps on uh, this uh, little uh, wafer-thin disc. Um, I thought it might be a Celtic coin. <laughs> um, wishful thinking as always. But when you turn it around, um, you can see, or I hope you can see, a green shiny stone. Um, I guess uh, this is just a piece of uh, custom jewelry, I don't know, it's a copper alloy, um, I think a hundred years, not older. bullet no no it's not a bullet it's a, a spindle whirl I can see the hole yeah very nice find uh, quite old I would guess because uh, it got this uh, beautiful uh, white patina and it's uh, primitively made too uh, I just love this path uh, it uh, has some edge to it My next find is this uh, beautiful medieval buckle uh, made out of a copper alloy. I think it's bronze. Uh, needle is missing of course, but um, it's a wonderful relic and it's uh, one more indicator that this uh, path here got some edge to it. Faint. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, it's, um, oh, sh could it be the first Kreuzer of this year? It is definitely a very small coin and um, I don't know, but I think I can see a silver shiny edge. Wow, that would be great. It's a very small and wafer thin coin oh, keep your fingers crossed that this is my first silver of 2018 
all that was missing uh, is a lead back seal. Ah, beautiful one. There's a zero on the one side and uh, on the back side you have writing. I can't uh, read it as yet. Um, have to give it a wash. But um, yeah, it's a typical find uh, you would expect on a footpath. But um, I keep finding them on fields of course uh, too. Uh, because um, fertilizers or other products um, were sealed by these uh, little fellas here too. Another very diggable signal, uh, 89, uh, might be a bottle cap. <laughs> oh, I can see it already. Take a look. Could it be silver? Let's find out together. No, it's aluminium, but I don't know what kind of coin it is. 50 filler, never heard of it. 1968, I nicked it with my shovel, which is a shame, even though it's only uh, aluminium coin. Yeah. Looks like a Pol Polish coin, I, I don't know. Uh, I will find out. But <laughs> that was a nice shock moment. I'm on my way uh, back to the backpack <laughs> and I will call it a day. Um, the sun is very low already but I made another coin find I think. Uh, could be part of a button as well but I think it's a coin and um, as you can see uh, not much to see on it and I think it won't get any better when I have given it a clean. Uh, these copper coins if it is one are um, very worn most of the time. Anyways, I hope you liked my first video of 2018 and I also hope that you liked the finds I made. I'm quite surprised and happy about the finds. I was expecting to find only trash today. Um, these are typical finds you make on footpaths. But this one um, is quite nice and it uh, paid dividends to talk to the farmer. I can only recommend it. Until next time I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.